Welcome to PUC second year students. In the last period, we have studied the behavior of the consumer, that is theory of consumer behavior. In the next, we examine the, the behavior of the producers, the behavior of the producers, that is chapter number 3. That is chapter number 3. The topic that is production and cost. Production and cost. What is, what is production and what is cost of productions? How the productions are saved and how the firms earn the profit by selling the product in the market and the, what are the uh, cost of productions? What are the types of costs? What are the types of revenues? Huh? How the short-run cost and uh, long-run costs? Huh? What is the production function? We have to study in this chapter the production and costs. The production is the process by which inputs are transformed into the uh, outputs. Once again, the production is the process by which inputs are transformed into output. The production is carried out by producers or firms. A firm acquire different uh, uh, types of uh, or different inputs uh, like uh, land, labor, machines and raw materials. Raw materials. Etc. It is used these inputs to produce outputs. Once again, the production is the process by which inputs are transformed into output. The production, the production are transformed into outputs. Into outputs, the production, the process by which the inputs are transformed into output. And the production is carried out by the producers or the firms. A firm acquires different inputs, different inputs like the land, labor, and machine or capital or raw materials, etc. These uh, the inputs are used to produce output. Output. This output can be consumed by the consumers or by used by the other firms for further production. This is called as the production. For example, a tailor uses who uses a tailor uses a sewing machine, clothes, thread and is own labor to produce cells. Who the tailor uses sewing machines, clothes, thread and his own labor to produce cells. Another one example number two is a farmer uses. What uses the farmer uses his land, labor and a tractor seed, fertilizers, water to produce wheat. The farmer uses to produce wheat. He uses the land, labor, tractor, seeds, fertilizers and water to produce wheat. It is called as the farmer's production. And a corn manufacturer uses land for factory a corn manufacturer uses land for factory, machinery, labor, etc. to produce corn. A manufacturer or a corn manufacturer uses land for factory and machinery and labor, etc. to produce corn. And a richer fuller uses a rickshaw puller uses a rickshaw and his own labor and 
to produce electron rays. A recharge to learn it is A. Recharge and it is vulnerable and to produce recharge arise for the recharge to learn. And the fifth example is that a domestic algorithm a domestic algorithm is her labor to produce cleaning services. Who? The domestic cleaners or helpers uses her labor to produce cleaning services. These are the examples for the, the producer. And in order to acquire inputs, the firm has to pay for them. It is called as the cost of production. In order to acquire inputs, a firm has to pay for them. This is called as the cost of production. What is the cost of production? The firm requires number of inputs like land, labor, capital and organization and uh, the firm has to pay for them. It is called as the cost of production. There are number of cost of production. There are number of cost of production. For example, the electricity cost of production, labor cost of production, uh, land cost of production, uh, labor cost of production, capital cost of production. These are the inputs and it has a cost and it has a reward. The firm has to pay for them. That is the cost of production. Once the output has been produced and firm sell it in the market and earn the profit. Or once the output has been produced, the firm sell it in the market and earn the revenue. This is the difference between the revenue and the cost is called as the firm's profit. The difference between the revenue and the cost is the the difference between the revenue and the cost is the, the firm's profit. There are number of profits or revenues, number of revenues, total revenue, fixed revenue, average revenue, marginal revenue. There are number of revenues over there. That is the difference between the total revenue or the difference between the revenue and the cost is called as the, the firm's profit. This is the introduction of the uh, third chapter that is the production and costs. There are a number of costs and uh, productions. In the, I will explain in the next video. So, you have to understand the what we study in the chapter number 3 that is, that is uh, the production and costs. Already I have explained what the subject matter of in the production and cost theory. When we go to the next syllabus, I will explain. Till then, we have to uh, keep remember what we study and uh, what we are not studying in the chapter. This is also the most important chapter in the third chapter. The number of questions will arise in this question. We have to find out the total revenue, fixed revenue, marginal revenue, AR revenue, and uh, there are number of costs, a fixed cost, variable cost, Implicity cost, explicit costs, uh, variable costs, average variable costs, uh, there are number of and short run costs and uh, long run costs, the how the long run cost saves and there are number of saves of costs, long run costs, uh, uh, short run costs, uh, what are the saves of the short run and long run costs, they have to study and uh, that is uh, in the period. In this chapter, there is a most important, there is a production function and the law of variable proportions. These are the most important in this chapter. We have to study, to understand and write. Thank you.